Dark Phoenix is definitely a movie that exists. It is the last film in the X-Men franchise before Fox goes to Disney in its pursuit of having a dystopian monopoly on everything and they inevitably reboot it. So it's probably even more of the end of an era than Avengers Endgame was. Oh, except for the New Mutants, but who knows if that'll ever come out. Anyway, obligatory director cred. This movie was written and directed by Simon Kinberg, a writer and producer for many Fox superhero movies, but a first time director except for one episode of the new Twilight Zone. Anyway, this isn't the best movie to go out on, it's not the worst thing ever, no it's not even particularly bad or good, it's just there, it exists. There really isn't that much to say about it. It's the kind of movie that you pretty much forget right after you leave the theater. Now obviously there have been countless superhero movies over the past decade or so, and this one just seems to blend in with all of them. There's almost nothing to make it stand out. The story is generic, the action is generic, and it doesn't have the heart or humor of something like Shazam or Avengers Endgame, it just feels bland. On top of all that, a lot of the dialogue and certain story points are kind of melodramatic. There are quite a bit of cliches and corny moments. But once again, the most frustrating thing is that it's just so middling. It's not the worst X-Men movie ever, it's just whatever. I probably won't remember most of it by the end of the year. Hell, even Hellboy stood out. Not to say that this is worse than Hellboy, but it is less memorable. I'm okay with average movies, but this one was just painfully average. Oh, and melodramatic. So I'm still waiting on my 10th subscriber, so hit that subscribe button so I can stop bugging my other 9 subscribers about it. I won't shut up until I get my 10th subscriber. Do it now. To 10 subscribers! That's my new slogan. Subscribe to 10 subscribers, trademark.